What's going on, fam? It's the entertainer, motivator, educator, Lucky Mary, back with another CHHnow.com, the latest, greatest in Christian hip hop news, media, and content. Today, we're speaking about Gavi situations from a woman's perspective. A prominent Christian hip hop manager speaks about the situation. She's a promoter as well. Speaks about the situation from a woman's perspective, not directly, indirectly. Before I go any further, man, here's what I need you to do. Like the video. Two, subscribe to the channel. Hit notification bell that I know every time I drop a video. And three, share the video. It helps out a time. So let's get into this. Man. So Erin Knight, she's a promoter. She's also a manager. She manages one day. She also manages uh who else? Oh, um, oh, what up RG? Spoke about the situation that's ongoing that everybody and their mama talking about in the Christian world as Gavi is being accused of uh, sexual misconduct uh, for sending inappropriate pictures to women while he was married. And she had to say, she said something. I wanted to read it. I thought it was very important to kind of bring up. Cam, uh, a member of the Culture Villains, kind of posted a tweet as well. So I wanted to kind of break that down real quick and give you my opinions on what I think about that. So let's go to the clip shall we so right here we're gonna read it says so we're gonna read i don't think you guys realize how triggering this weekend was for women in the space meaning christian hip-hop especially those of us who are on the inside i never specific i'm never specific because i can't handle the hell that people will send my way i've dealt with the devastation of private enough can't do it online right so Cam said, this really breaks my heart. Let's clean this mug up, man. Tighten up now, right? Totally agree. So here's the second tweet I think that Aaron put out. It says, not just the silence, but all those randos who immediately want to discredit women or give predators a chance because they're a fan or a friend. It's sick. Like, why would I even, why would I ever feel comfortable around you if you're mad that someone's calling out a sexual predator, right? Right? So, I want to kind of go to Aaron's page real quick and kind of see if she speaks about it again. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. She don't really, yeah, yeah. She don't really speaks about this. Um, and that's probably it. So, let me uh, speak about this for a second. The, the Gavi situation is extremely unfortunate. Not for Gavi. I, if these allegations are true, I don't really care what happens to Gavi because you reap what you sow. You know what I'm saying? You sow bad seeds, you get bad apple trees, right? And a lot of people's like, oh my God, why can't we just pray for Gavi? Gavi? Listen, man, we don't know what's true or what's not true. But the one thing I can agree with Aaron on is the fact that so many people are like, oh, Gavi ain't do that. How he could do that? It's like, how do you know he didn't do that? So instead of having speculations, instead of uh, jumping to conclusions, we just need to see all the evidence. And a lot of people, me included, it's like, Lucky, how can you uh, speak about this? Why can't you bring light to the kingdom? I'm like, listen, man. If you are a sexual predator, like Aaron says, you need to be exposed, whether you, whether you are a Christian or not. A sexual predator doesn't need to be uh, doing these certain things. And the silence that Gavi has speak loudly. I said it before the announcement that Reach Records dropped Gavi. I said, listen, they need to do something about it, and they need to do something about it fast, right? They did. And if you read their... Uh, report or their um um not a report but <laughs> they their announcement it was something that was ongoing for a while that's one two we have got to stop we're christian hip-hop is dominated by males right dominated by males and to have a woman vent her frustrations after this is well known in private makes it public and y'all go attack her it's crazy so uh, my thing is this man um i can't one person uh, uh commented 
on the channel says, listen, so everybody that I seen a YouTuber was talking about Gavi instead of asking how to pray for him. Listen, I'm praying for everybody in the situation. If we could pray for Gavi, how about the women that accusing that accused him of these different things, right? Let's pray for a resolution. Let's pray that Gavi repents, right? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, let's like what are we praying for him for, right? You know, I I, I want to be able to uh get some re resolve. And if he did this, these women need to be resolved. These women need to be uplifted, man, because they were, are in the shadows and nobody's looking out for them. Everybody's looking out for Gavi. Gavi probably still would have been on a, on the shame tour if these allegations didn't come out. So maybe this is God himself trying to speak to Gavi, right? Nobody said, listen, God is using this, this uh, for Gavi's sake so that he can be awakened to see the truth. Nobody's saying that. God can use any situation. So I I, I thank Aaron um for for speaking out. I, I'm I'm a big fan of Aaron work. Uh, a couple of years ago she did the uh A3C event down in Atlanta. That was a super dope event. Hopefully they do it again this year because Lucky Murray will be in the building. Report for CHH now. But here's what I need you to do, man. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. I'm not gonna talk your head off. And go to chhnow.com, the latest greatest of Christian pop news, media, all that good stuff. So once again, it's the entertainer, motivated, educator, and please don't forget all three. Lucky Murray with another chhnow.com report. Yes, women are speaking up on this situation, and Aaron Knight, uh, a big one in the CHH community, speaks out. Let me know what you think about the comment section below. If you don't know her, Google her. But, uh, like what I'm saying, it's the next time, people.